Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. Beulah Gal, can you believe this? We are now the patrol queens of the neighborhood. We now large and in charge. So we need to check out what's going on in everybody's yard. What about that gun that we know that Junior and his homeboys just ran out? Can we report that too? Of course we can. But we could be in deep trouble if they find out. We need to report what we see, Beulah. When you call Crime Stoppers, they just answer your call in Miami. So then we can report everything? Guns? Where they hiding the drugs? Who shoot who? Who part of which gang? Or who disturbing the peace with the loud music and the motorcycles. Then our neighborhood will be the best in the Bahamas, and everybody gonna want to come live here. And then our house price will go up, gal. So what we waiting on? What's the number? If you see something, say something. Let us all pitch in and stop the crime before it's your time. Call 328 from Nassau or 242-300-8477 from the Family Islands. Or text us through the Crack Crime Bahamas app. Stop the crime before it's your time. Good morning this morning and welcome back to Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, your station for fresh news, smart talk all day. It is Friday the 16th of August 2024 and you are on the clock with Erin Green. It's a sports Friday. This, today's show is going to be slightly different. I've got two sets of guests today and a little bit of housekeeping to do. In the second segment of the show, we're going to have the, I think, second eSports League, representatives from the second eSports League, San X, on air with us for a little Olympics wrap-up and looking at the future of eSports in the Bahamas. And is there a path from the Bahamas to the LA Olympics 2028 for eSports? And then, before that guest, I have a guest joining me in studio, Diamond Holistics and Complete Yoni Care. I think this is an important conversation. I think it even ties into the sports conversation that we always have on a Friday, and I am looking forward to it. And I'm even more excited because my uh, producer played that song, Looking Pretty and Smiling, right? I would say those eyes are beguiling. Most of the women you see, they looking pretty and smiling through the pain, through the pain of poor menstrual health. So we're going to talk a bit about that this morning. But before I get there, a little housekeeping. Put your hand up if you survived the great power outage of Thursday, the 15th, August 2024. I survived it, but barely. Somebody had to splash cold water on me. Not because I fell out from the heat, but because after giving BPL a grace period of three hours, see, maybe I don't need to switch my water over to city water. Three hours, it should be back on. No, it wasn't on. I went to go and take a shower in city water, and there was no water. Thankfully, I remember what it was like living in 1945, so I have water stored under my sink for times like this. Oh, I had to take a cold shower last night. But I'd like to thank the person who decided to be the shower. Like, I literally had to get somebody to stand up and pour water because my body tall and it big. It, it size Andrus on the outside, right? It big. So I barely survived it. And I thought I had it rough. My power was off from 9.15 to r roughly just after 1 a.m. Some people said they, their power came back on at 11. Some people said their power didn't go off at all. This morning, I'm learning that there were some people who, whose power was off from 9.15 to past 4 a.m. And some people, their power's still not on yet. 
Now, the reason I gave BPL three hours is this, because when the power goes off, my landline is no longer accessible. Because now that we have these fiber phones with no electricity, you can't use the phone. The company that sold me the fiber service told me my power bank could accommodate two pieces of equipment. It only accommodates itself and the thing plugged into it. That's it. So I couldn't even call BPL to say, hey, you know the people who live in the areas that are not on your monitoring grid, and you don't actually know whether their power is off or not? Yeah, it's us. We sitting here waiting. I couldn't call them to tell them that. So I had to wait. I had to wait. And so I say to the people whose power is still off, I'm hoping that these words reach the people it needs to reach at BPL and the Ministry of Energy and Transport. And I hope that the message that the Minister for Energy and Transport, Joe Beth Colby Davis, gave to Grand Bahama, uh, sorry, to BPL for better customer engagement, and I think GBPC for better customer engagement, I hope you all take that seriously. Because electricity is a basic essential service at this point. You, the political directorate, have changed our lives so much that we must rely on electricity for survival. That means that you then have an obligation to ensure that it's accessible. accessible. The idea that you're gonna give people a rebate, a rebate on what? Their power is off, what you rebating? Anyway, I just wanna to say to everybody who survived the great power outage of Thursday the 15th of August, 2024, unless we do something, it's not gonna get better. Now on another note, happy birthdays to Jason Evans, AKA Artist Javan, AKA one of the founders of The Spot, AKA one of the funniest men in comedy in the Bahamas and a top tier animator. Happy birthday and happy birthday to Maria Govan, another filmmaker and the, uh, I think, director of the award winning and acclaimed movie, Rain, featuring C.C. Uh, Pounder, is it C.H. Pounder? Some phenomenal actors and actresses in that film. And I got some happy birthdays coming up to some, you all is Leo, say, to some Leo friends in a few days. Uh, I know Sakani Nash is coming up and a couple more people coming up. Happy birthday to everyone. And now on a sad note, I am, sending condolences to the Carter family and the broader Hannah Hasty Tynes family, and all families connected to the Carter family, on the tragic loss of Daha Carter, my cousin. Daha was one of them by them who always let me know he's my cousin. Yeah. It happened last week, Friday, and I had just touched my cousin's hand before the family reunion, asking him if he would be able to make it. He said, cuz, financially, I'm working on some things. I don't know if I can be able to extend myself, but I'm there in spirit. See, growing up queer, being a gay rights advocate, you remember the people who say, but look here, I don't care about what you're doing. He's my cousin, he's my family, mm -hmm. and I love you. And Daha, sleep in peace. Sleep in peace. We all shocked by uh, this loss. Producer, I sorry about that news, eh? In fact, I found out when I was camping, I was out of Nassau. Like, I, I, I took myself out of the city, and um, I was shocked. I was shocked, and I think we are all shocked. Friends, family, community members, the San Susi community alike, we are all shocked. Sending big hugs out. To everybody, there's been a lot of loss recently. A lot of it, I think, we would want to say needless. Is anybody at fault? We're not sure. What we do know is that our systems need to be fixed. We need to tighten them up. We need to make sure that they are effic as efficient as possible so that we can capture and help as many people who need help. This is very, very important. As it seems, we are walking towards a, a more hyper-individualistic culture and community. 
When we cannot individually help other people, we rely on the systems that we all shore up to pick up the weight. We have to continually work on those systems. And condolences to the Carter family and to everyone who has lost a loved one this week, this month, this year. Let's help each other carry this grief and process it. Okay. Time to move into another segment because Daha wants you to live. He wants you to enjoy life. He wants you to make the best of it. So we're back on the clock. And joining me this morning is Miss Anishka Martin, affectionately called Diamond. And she's here today to talk to us about her company, Diamond Holistics and Complete Yoni Care. Now, Diamond, can I call you Diamond for the show? Absolutely. We got to start with the first question. Mm -hmm. When you say complete yoni care, what's a yoni? The yoni is the vagina. So it's a, okay, is it an African word? Is it a, like a Gullah Geechee word? I have heard the word before, but I've never seen, like, do they call it the etymology, the origin of the word? I mean, I, I don't either. Right, but we know that it's traditionally mm -hmm. and culturally, Absolutely. I think it's African rooted. I think so too. Another name for the vagina. Absolutely. Um, and... That'll give you a sense of the culture that we sort of still practice around sexual health, sexual reproductive health, mm -hmm. and the, the body, and in particular the female anatomy. We're still teaching our kids words like cookie and right and mm -hmm. your ting ting and mm -hmm. uh, and at some point that is age appropriate, mm -hmm. right? But Yoni is a traditional and cultural word for the vagina, typically used in African descent and African communities. Okay. okay, so what do you mean by holistics and complete yoni care? Everything is all natural. Okay. Meaning holistics and um, the yoni. I sell everything to tighten it, to keep it clean. Okay, hygiene, so for, um, absolutely. for health. Mm -hmm. And for hygiene. Absolutely. Now, to strengthen it, right? Mm -hmm. We're talking about uh, sexual reproductive health, and we're talking about, I want to I, I get the right word, because people may think that we're talking about a sexual aspect of a woman's life. But for me, strength is about being able to control your bladder, okay. being able to control your pelvic floor. Right? And so women, as they get older, one of the issues that they deal with is a collapsed pelvic floor because they haven't been strengthening right? the, the yoni and the pelvic floor uh, and weak bladder and incontinence and inability to control your urine stream. Right? And so I want people to let's get oh, sort of away from the sexual aspect of yoni strength to the Hy hygiene and health aspect of it. And I think a lot of women are, I want to say, plagued with something they wouldn't be if they had this information at a younger age. Absolutely. All right, so let's talk about the products that your company offers. What I'm here to talk about today, because there's so many, but it's three in particular that mm -hmm. I have with me today. Mm -hmm. It's my menstrual pain relief tea. Okay. Do you see? Absolutely. Menstrual okay. pain relief tea. Yeah, and it's good for hormonal imbalance, sporting, bloating, severe cramps, irregular periods, heavy bleeding, blood clots, and also prolonged periods. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, uh, repeat the list again. Or Tell me which square is on. We're looking at a beautiful flyer. We're looking, we're looking right, at the there. right on top of the reviews. Okay. We're looking in the black space. Right and I'm here. pointing that out because there's lots of information, which I appreciate when being mm -hmm. introduced to a new product or a relatively new product on the market. Okay, so hormone imbalance, PCOS, spotting, bloating, severe cramps, irregular periods, heavy bleeding, blood clots, prolonged periods, right? Mm -hmm. So tell me, how does your product affect these conditions? Well, my tea, let me show you the box. All right, you could hold it right up to the camera. Oh. Uh, some people are tuning in via video. Oh, I didn't know. That's okay. Okay, this is the tea. Okay. And this is the drops. The tea is taken on the first day of your period. Okay. Or on the first sign of any kind of pain. 
mm-hmm. and the drops is used to put on your sanitary napkin or a tampon. It has a cooling effect and it works together. Okay, does it have a pain reducing effect as well? It does. It does. Now, the first time I heard about sort of these types of products was Whoopi Goldberg has a, has a menstrual line, right? And uh, I don't know. I was shocked, mm-hmm. but I'm, I'm, and I thought that's so far away. The reason I bring it up because I always thought that's so far away from me, right? Mm-hmm. How would I be able to get access to a product like this in such a closed market where our distributors and wholesalers are sort of locked in for the most part to a regional market, right? Absolutely. Okay, and so the menstrual miracle drops and the menstrual pain relief tea. And you say you take the menstrual pain relief tea on the first day? You take it on the first day. Okay. And you take it twice a day. You drink it twice a day for five days. Okay. When you open the box, you finish the box. So you Ah. use the drops along with the tea. As fast as you change your pad or you change your tampon, Mm -hmm. you apply the drops. Okay. This is 100% all natural. It's only herbs. It's actual. It's an actual tea. Okay. Can you tell us some or all of the ingredients in the product, or is it a proprietary blend? It is a proprietary blend. Okay. But I can tell you one or two things. It's actually chamomile. Okay. And what I would say, what else could I say? Chamomile to soothe the body and um, calendula. Calendula. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, from you say calendula, right? Mm -hmm. And people are going to say, hey, what that is, Mm -hmm. and have you had these products tested locally or abroad? I've helped so many people, and I have so many reviews. Okay. So what I'm saying is, let me take a look at the drops. You have a barcode. You don't have a barcode on it, right? No, I don't have a barcode. Okay, not yet. But the packaging is professional Mm -hmm. and beautiful. Now, I... I uh, sell a tree spinach, right? Mm-hmm. And I tell people I've treated, I mean, we've, we've served it to 2 to 82 in terms of age range. Okay. And we've had no negative or adverse effects from this tree spinach, which was introduced to the Bahamas uh, via, like from Africa, right? Okay. And so with my business, we do that type of testing. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's read some of the reviews. Okay, let's go ahead. From the customers. So I got one here that says, girl, that tea, is it... R- Really? Is it a man? Because, miss, I've been in a battle with my periods from young. I thank God I found you. Here's another one. Good morning. I need to tell you how your menstrual pain relief tea stopped my excessive bleeding. I had a miscarriage last month and could not stop bleeding. I hate taking pills. I saw your ad on Facebook and decided to give the tea a try. To be honest, I was skeptical, thinking to myself, can a simple tea do all of this. Well, let me tell you, this tea exceeded my expectations. In a matter of days, my issues was over. Ma'am, you onto something. The tea is the business. Your user says, I approve your menstrual pain relief tea 100%. It really works. All right, so how long has the product been in the market? I would say over a year. Over a year? Over a year. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I wasn't going public with it. Mm -hmm. When I was working at Sandals, so many ladies had problems with their menstrual, and I helped them. Which is a particularly important space because many women in the tourism sector are on their feet every day. Mm-hmm. But more importantly, you can't never let them see you scowling, mm-hmm. crying, sweating. Mm-hmm. The tourists expect us to always be open and amenable, happy and willing to entertain them and put a smile on their face. Absolutely. So I'm sure it's been a a blessing for women in the tourism industry. I sold it to the guests, too. Good stuff. I sold it to the guests. All right. Mm -hmm. See, I have a small local agriculture-based business. Mm -hmm. I make a number of local teas, bay leaf, bougainvillea, sunflower, mm-hmm. blue flower tea. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I, I can appreciate the therapeutic power mm-hmm. of plants. Some people may not. Uh, have you had any customers who have had an adverse effect, a discomfort, or a side effect? Not one. Okay. Not one customer. All right, good mm-hmm. stuff. Now... When I was reading uh, some of your promotional material, mm-hmm. 
I saw that there's a particular focus on young women. Mm -hmm. Now, some people may be concerned and say, why are you focusing on young women? Mm -hmm. I think that younger girls and women, especially with periods starting earlier, um, I think I was 11 when I saw my, or 12 when I saw my cycle. Me too. And it, the, the uh, sort of intro date time has dropped. Some girls are at nine eight. and eight mm -hmm. when their cycles start. Mm -hmm. This can become a barrier to school, getting Absolutely. to school. Mm -hmm. and, and I think constantly about girls on the family island where the proximity or the distance from the center also becomes a factor in their ex ability to access menstrual health products. Absolutely. So let's, let's talk about why y young girls and young women. You know, growing up, I had menstrual cramps, but I outgrew them. Mm -hmm. And all my life, I had family members, have family members that plague with it. And everywhere I go, everywhere, you go, all over the world, people are complaining about menstrual issues. And I love people. I love children. I love to help. And I feel that no young girl should be missing school because of headaches, vomiting, diarrhea, cramps, severe bleeding. They should not be missing school mm -hmm. because of it. Absolutely. So, over the pandemic, I um I went straight into it. Okay. I went straight into it. And um I was afraid at first to go public with it. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to stay in my little corner until I was ready. One of my friends from primary school, she pushed me out there. She said, Anishka, this is something that people need. Without a doubt. Yeah, people need this. And you helped me. The thing about it, her testimony is right here. Her name is Antoinette. Mm -hmm. That's my childhood friend. And um, she was seeing her period like two, three times a month. Yes. And she only bought one box of my tea. And she never had that problem again. Never had that problem again. And I, ha I, ha I helped so many people, so many people before I brought it to the media. Because, you know, I'm kind of shy, kind mm -hmm. of. And I didn't know which route to take and where to go, but I know I had something that people needed. And um, well, we we know that the market is open to locally produced or or locally owned products, right? Mm -hmm. I think we have a, a menstrual health product line called Women's Haven okay. that you can find in a number of stores, right? Mm -hmm. And so while the merchant class or the merchant space can be a barrier to access, mm -hmm. like you see, we have such a limited limited options mm -hmm. in terms of brands and in terms of uh, types, right? So when I say levels of uh, absorbency, so if you don't know anything about the, this part of the women's world, there are lots of brands and then there are lots of, of types. So there's a, there's a regular, an S for super, S plus for super plus, yes. which is a higher absorbency. Mm -hmm. And then there's a, a line called ultra or maxi, mm -hmm. depending on the brand that you get that is just not available in our market, wow. right? And so every time I go to a major store, I ask to speak to the buyer or, you know, please send a message to the buyer. The message that comes back is that we understand, like the value of the product, we understand why people would want it, but that product is not available to us in this region. I wanna say something to you. Mm -hmm. I wanna tell you something else about my tea and my drops. Yes, ma'am. The, the heavy menstrual bleeding, mm -hmm. the tea reduces that. Within 24 to 48 hours, 72 hours, the most. Okay. Yeah, this, this tea and drops is no joke. All right, so mm -hmm. you got a, I wouldn't say like patent, a few, uh, about a month ago, we covered some stories on intellectual property uh, legislation, new compendium of property legislation. You got to make sure that you protect your formula and your recipe, Absolutely. right? That you get into uh, the Bureau of uh, Quality and Standards, right? How do you protect this recipe and these recipes? Now, again, let's repeat the products. Our menstrual miracle drops, menstrual pain relief tea, and there's a third product that you mentioned. Yeah, it's, it's a soap. Well, as you could see by my intro, I like to bathe. I, I didn't let BPL and water and sewage stop me from bathing. Absolutely. This soap is called PMS. Oh, we know about that. Mm-hmm. Yes. So it's a trio. 
Okay. It's actually a trio. And this helps to maintain a healthy pH balance. It eliminates odor. It reduces menstrual cramps. It regulates enlightened period days. It prevents bacterial infection, relieves sore muscles, vaginal itch, and it's also an excellent treatment for cold sores. Okay. The, the ingredients that right. I have in here. Yes. Yeah. It targets everything that's on there. Okay. So where can we find these products? Only at Diamond Holistics. Only, you can only get it from me. Okay. So how do we contact you to access this product? My number is 1242 for the listeners abroad, mm-hmm. 815-3055. Okay. Now I'm on the family island. Mm-hmm. I'm listening in. I was going to call from the family island at mm-hmm. 242-300-5720 because I know it's toll free. Mm-hmm. But right now, I'm a phone charging. I got to let it charge while the power on. Okay. How do I get this product to the family island? I ship it to you. I have family island clients. As I well? Do. Yes, I do. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Freeport, Exuma, Eleuthera, Abaco. Yeah. All right. So the number to call is one 815 3055, and that's for Diamond Holistics and Complete Yoni Care. Mm-hmm. All right, now, Anishka, i supposed to be having another set of guests. I know. They're not here yet, so we're going to keep talking. We're okay. going to keep talking. The tie-in for the two guests, right? We're talking Olympics. I think this is a great segue as well, because menstrual health, And just your menstrual cycle can be a major barrier for young women, young girls and women, for women Mm -hmm. who are attempting to participate in what we sort of call male-dominated sports and spaces, right? Absolutely. So we're talking about like workspaces where there's like heavy construction work or heavy work, right? Mm -hmm. We typically call it man work, where... The ba- there ain't no real bathroom nearby. Not no bathroom for you to deal with your menstrual health to, to change your products, right? Mm-hmm. Women become sort of marginalized in that space. Typically, because they can't hang because of uh, predetermined factors. Absolutely. Right? In, uh, in school, we know girls who have to walk mm-hmm. in communities with poor, like with, with lots of stray dogs. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of fear. Even Mm -hmm. it's just fair uh, that Mm -hmm. it could happen, that I could be attacked by a wild dog. Mm -hmm. Um, And then with the esports, right? Esports is a fascinating space because it operates kind of differently from other sports. The the thing about esports, when you join a league, an established league in the developed world, you go to you go and you live in a house with other gamers, with the other gamers on your team, mm-hmm. and you spend twenty of the twenty four hours a day gaming mm-hmm. in front of a computer next to your peers, training. Your menstrual cycle become a can become a barrier for young women who are, want to participate in that space mm-hmm. at this in the same way that guys, men, boys could participate in that space, and so a focus on menstrual health is also a focus on providing accessibility to young girls, young women, and women to the broader world. Mm -hmm. Uh, Has there been any resistance from parents, from guidance counselors, from schools about the product? And how do you address that or approach it? Okay. I, I wanted, I actually want to start with the schools. Okay. I tried the, um, the Ministry of Education. Mm -hmm. But because I didn't get to see the actual director, to Mm -hmm. sit and talk with her, I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know. You're not sure where your proposal is in the sort of conveyor belt Mm -hmm. in in the administration. Yeah, but this is something that I really want to get into the schools. Well, here's what I think we could do. Mm -hmm. I'd love to connect you with uh, Miss Dean from the Dignified Girl Project. Okay. And that may be a great way to expose your product mm-hmm. to the stakeholders in this space. Okay. Uh, school administrators who do have technically uh, an obligation to ensure that young people have access to. So it's not a matter of the schools have to provide the products. Absolutely. But if the school is aware that a student is struggling mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. they can't get to school for a week because they don't have access to the amount of menstrual health products they need, mm-hmm. right? They say, like, look, girl, you only have two pads for this day, mm-hmm. two pads a day, so 
You're going to need to use what you call a menstrual cloth that mm -hmm. you can clean regularly that's not effective or, or, or efficient for school. No, it's not. And it's, it's so, it would, it would be embarrassing in this culture, I imagine, for one girl to have to go to the bathroom and wash out her or cloth. Tissue. Or tissue. Or tissue, right? Which could fall out. Mm -hmm. Right. Producer, I see we have a call on the line. Let's go to the phone line, Anishka. Okay. Good morning, caller. Yeah, good morning, Ms. Green. Good morning, sir. How you doing? Yeah, I'm okay, right, Jen, the struggle. Uh, yeah, I'm impressed with what your guest is doing. And so uh, just a quick input here. And uh, I just wanted to uh, ask a question when they finished making the statement. Mm -hmm. now, let me ask a question first. Uh, did, did you see an increase in women complaining about uh, extra lengthy time and extra bleeding uh, post-vaccination uh, uh, rollout? Did you see an increase in that? Because females were telling me that they're they are afraid to come and voice their opinion, right? But during Warren McCartney's time, I talked about prostaglandins and arachidonic acid, right? So prostaglandin acid, it, 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 prostaglandin is really an inflammatory response. And so I, had, I was advising them not to take the vaccine. And given the fact that, like refined sugar, cooking oils, trans fat, dairy products, processed meat, refined grains, and alcohol are considered inflammatory. And so they cause an excess production of prostaglandins, which causes the period to be more painful. I have an eight-year-old daughter, and I have a stepdaughter. I think she's about 11. But... I would hate to say this, but she was uh, so much younger than me. She was seeing her menstrual cycle at early age. So I, I, I obviously don't feed my daughter chicken and all of these foods with hormone in them. Mm -hmm. I have to avoid this and learn something at the same time. And so, given the fact that a lot of people, I'm sure that there's an increased tense uh, rollout because of the toxic effect of the spike protein, which has been found up to two years later in the ovaries, the testicles, the kidneys, all about it. It's interstitial. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I just would like for you to comment on that because really, when you, when you go online and you read up on it, it will actually tell you that certain foods can cause uh, periods to be more painful. And so it, maybe that may be a part of the education, even though they can appreciate your product. But I'm guaranteeing you that your product may, it may have this type of uh, chemical in it that actually helps soothe this problem. But this is an ongoing problem, and people are afraid to speak out. I saw a doctor die the other day, healthy guy, looks normal. And so they, they, given the fact that we don't have these type of advice events for the system here, Thank you, 52. And so I think the question is, have you seen an increase in customers coming to you uh, stating that they have had an increase, right, or they, their bleeding has become more excessive post-pandemic or, you know, once vaccinations rolled out? Absolutely not. Basically, I would say 100% of my clients was having these problems from young Prior, yeah. prior to. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, but thank you for the call, 52, because it, mm -hmm. it made me remember that Ms. Martin, Anishka Martin, yes. I want to introduce you to Dr. Thane Campbell and the Deep Science, Venture, uh, Deep Science Ventures, which is an, a, an entity, an academic entity that brings thinkers, creators, people with big ideas who want to solve a problem bring them together with world experts so that possibly they could provide access to resources for testing, right? Okay. So that you could say to the people, look, not only have I protected my pr proprietary blend of natural herbs and products, but you can see that it's been tested by a globally mm -hmm. reputable and accepted entity, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. For more acceptance in the market. But not even we may not even have to leave home for that venture because we have the Sustainability and Research Center at the college at the University of the Bahamas. Okay. Right? Which I think would be a great space as well to seek resources uh, to build the company, right? And uh, in a way that helps you to protect your intellectual property and your proprietary blends. Absolutely. But I'm super excited about the product line, I'm super excited about the space in which it arose, which is you thinking about the needs of women, knowing that we have, I think, a higher incidence of occurrence of issues, excessive bleeding. We go right back to this list. Mm -hmm. Hormone imbalance and PCOS, without a doubt, spotting, bloating, severe cramps, irregular periods, heavy bleeding, blood clots, and prolonged periods, mm -hmm. you know, historically. Mm -hmm. um, and Dignified Girls Project is the only NGO that I see 
working specifically on sort of menstrual health issues. Okay. So let's go through the product line again and your contact information. Okay. So we start with the menstrual miracle drops. Mm -hmm. Tell us how to use them and what to use them for. The menstrual miracle drops is used along with the tea. Mm -hmm. And if you're bleeding heavier, what you can do, do not throw the do not throw the tea bag away. Use the two three tea bags, use it a third time in okay. one cup. Okay. Yeah. It's that strong. It's that strong. Now, okay. Do I have to drink the tea hot? Absolutely. It has to be consumed hot. Like a regular tea. Okay, not, not like an iced tea. No. All right, so the heat does add an mm -hmm. element to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, do I need to drink the tea with food? Like, the worst thing you could do is drink a hot cup of Sarah C on an empty stomach. It's because it's all natural and everything is from the earth. Yeah. It has no drugs, nothing. Okay. It's, so you don't, you don't have to eat. You don't have to eat anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, because a, a lot of people... Like, they can't eat first thing in the morning. They got to have a cup of tea to settle the stomach. That's your cup of tea. And then they move into the rest of the day. And it tastes really good, too. Okay, so menstrual miracle drops and menstrual pain relief tea, they mm -hmm. are prepared to take them together, right? Absolutely. So on, on the first day of your cycle, you're going to... For the straight five days. Okay. As quick, as soon as you pass, you change your sanitary napkin or tampon, you mm -hmm. apply the drops. Now, how many drops? One drop, two drops, you ten drops? You saturate it. Okay. Just enough. Okay. Because, you know, I can't say. It depends on the mm -hmm. individual using you it. You want to use enough that the herbs can evaporate into the vagina. Okay. You want to use enough. All right. Mm -hmm. Producer, let's go to the phone line. Let me see if we can get to the phone line right now. Good morning, caller. One second. Good morning, caller. Good morning, sir. How are you? And good morning to your guest. I find um, her um, presentation is very remarkable and very intriguing because um, I'd like to know if she ever had any following of Dr. Sabi from Usha in Honduras. Okay, thank you. Hello. I have something else to say. Yes, sir. Also, um, because um, there was a young lady that was um, attached to New Life, natural, um, um, the establishment on East Street. Yes. A friend of mine, mm -hmm. and she also, um, one time, had some um, products she put together, what she called like a vaginal steam. Okay, yes. And, 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 and it helped to get rid of um, whatever irritation she might have, you know what I mean, with, with the vagina. And, yes, sir. You know, she we were moving it, moving some of the products, and I want to know she... Um, also, is aware have any other products as such to you know complement her on what she's doing, and I would like to say to her, be very, very, very careful. And like you said, you're the only one to distribute your products, and be very, very careful about who you trust. We're trying to um, have them handle moving forward legally, and even as you're trying to assist her, we're trying to get the testing and proof because. Um, uh, big farmer and the big corporate people that were there, you know, there's a serious world we live in, young lady. Yes, okay? they'll mash you down, take your idea and mash you down. No, no, no. no. You know, Dr. Sabi's Dr. Sabi's there is a mystery as we speak. So, you know, just, just you know, guide on. You know, we'll stay in touch, Aaron. Yes, sir. Thank you I very much. I appreciate you, sir. Absolutely. Right. And I appreciate you. To what he's saying, mm -hmm. I am not saying that Viagra is made from a Bahamian recipe. Mm -hmm. But what I am saying is I know that the, the researchers were in Andrus mm -hmm. researching all the things. Mm -hmm. And then shortly thereafter, a product named Viagra came out on the market. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we come from an oral tradition where we pass down stories and remedies orally, right? Absolutely. Uh, and so but we're transitioning into a broader global world where even though we trust our local, traditional, indigenous, cultural practices, the world around us requires to produce or present these products in a different way. Absolutely. Right. So we try and make sure that all of the stakeholders in the market that could possibly be a benefit to you, your company, and the people who are using your products. We go into a break, and when we get back from the break, I think we may read a couple more reviews, and I'm going to ask you a couple more questions. Okay. And we're going to talk about this soap. Because I like to bathe, but it sounds like i got to limit my soap 
maybe we get a sense of cost in, in terms of accessibility for young people as well. Absolutely. You're on the clock with Erin Green. We're going to a break. We'll be right back. Embark on an inspiring voyage with two new books by Hubert Ingram, our remarkable three-time PM. Learn of his exceptional leadership in steering the nation through local and international storms. These books are a treasure for all Bahamians. Are you into history or seeking inspiration? Then this is a must-read. Available at Dungalik, Logos, the National Art Gallery, and Chapter One. Get your copies today. Be inspired by a legacy of wisdom and vision. You try to rest. Roll with the best for all your printing needs. There ain't no one better, no. For posters and vinyls, magazines and flyers, for window decals, reading cards and newsletters. No job too big and there's no job too small. You name it, we can print it. Just give us a call. Let Print Masters bring your masterpiece to life. Located in the Nassau Guardian Building, telephone 3022361. Love the show? Want to give your support? Become a sponsor today. Call 302-2300 for our rates and packages. That's 302-2300. Become a sponsor on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Good morning and welcome back to On the Clock with Erin Green. In studio with me this morning is Anishka Martin, owner of Diamond Holistics and Complete Yoni Care. And we're talking about her product line of l locally produced, you make it in country. Absolutely. Uh, menstrual health products, including menstrual miracle drops, menstrual pain relief tea, and PMS. PMS soap. Mm -hmm. See, I used to make that soap mm -hmm. to bathe date off your children. Mm -hmm. Soap so cheap you could bathe every day and pay your cable bill. Mm -hmm. But uh, gosh, I love a so-called PMS. I can wash this PMS off of me. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there are a lot of men, I'm telling you, there are a lot of men who wish for the same thing, mm -hmm. right? Like, I wish you could wash this PMS off of my wife. Not because... She's be harassing me, but because I want her to feel better. I want her to be more comfortable. Because I appreciate that the menstrual cycle is a part of the magic of life. That's why women can bring forth children. Mm -hmm. So we all value it. Absolutely. We understand it. But at the same time, we now know that it doesn't have to be so painful. Mm -hmm. You don't have to suffer through excessive bleeding, excessive cramps. No more. PCOS, right? These are conditions that can be treated, can be diminished, if not eradicated completely. Absolutely. All right. Have any of your clients talked about talking to their doctor about the product? Yeah, one of them. Okay. One of my clients. She's a young girl. Okay. She wants to have a baby and, um, you know. Oh, so she wants to, she just wants to be concerned that mm -hmm. she's not disrupting her reproductive health and her reproductive cycle with the menstrual health products no oh good stuff okay no, no not at all all right what was it is that um her she's unbalanced okay but she wouldn't purchase all of the products okay she just want to <clears throat> use the tea and not purchase the drops okay they go together all all the two products go together they go together and then the soap mm -hmm. as well you don't really need the soap the soap is really for odor, itch, and stuff like that. Okay. And it can slow the period down, too. As well. But, you know, the soap is just a, you know, it's an extra. Yeah. Because it has all the herbs and, and the oils and everything that's in the products, you know. But Absolutely. The, yeah, but those two, they regulate period. Okay. They regulate The period. menstrual... Miracle Drops and the Menstrual Pain Relief Tea are focused on regulating your Absolutely. cycle and reducing some of these mm -hmm. sort of negative and painful... Putting you back on a five-day cycle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three to five. 
what is the length of cycle that your your clients, your customers, typically experience before the team? And we, we talk about what prolonged periods look like. Mm -hmm. I have a client, she's a Philippine, and um, hers was two months. I think it's right here. Two months. Wow. Two months, yeah. That's the longest she's been seeing a period. I see yeah, it right here. God is. is really good. He connected me to you to be his vessel for healing me. And I like this. This is the testimonial in their own words, mm -hmm. right? Uh, firmly, and I firmly stand that complete healing is on its way from having the normal seven-day period to 15 days to two months mm -hmm. of having heavy periods. Mm -hmm. It was reduced to three days mm -hmm. when I had the diamond menstrual mm -hmm. tea on the second day. This is the shortest period I ever had. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for taking so much effort to bring me my tea when even standing to go to the bathroom was a painful chore. She had to let me in. I had to, because she was in the bedroom. Yeah. So I had to drive basically almost like a key mm -hmm. and make the tea for her because she was in the bed. She couldn't she get couldn't out of the bed. She couldn't move. That's how severe the bed. Her, her condition was, mm -hmm. the cramps and the bleeding. Absolutely. Oh, boy. Wow. And a foreign eye was shocked when she found me. But I'm telling you, mm -hmm. you have to live it to understand how desperate people are for solutions to this thing. That we, as, as women, when we were young girls, we were told, because when, when it's new, you're like, why? Why is it like this? Mm -hmm. And what you're told is it's a part of life. It's necessary. And it's a part of the gift of the ability to give birth. Erin, you know what's so crazy? Mm -hmm. In the pandemic, I was selling skincare. I did it for me, my family members, and my best friend. It was something small. Mm -hmm. And I saw me with this box, a black box, that was nowhere in the making. Mm -hmm. So I saw this before it even happened. Absolutely. Have you personally experienced these conditions, or any of these conditions? Absolutely. At a younger age, mm -hmm. I outgrew them. With your own products? No. Okay. It just went away. Okay, you were able to transition out of it. Absolutely. Change in diet, change in environment, change in job? I don't know. I just grew out of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, um, I found that when I became vegan, when I was vegan and raw, and um, so I was 50-50 vegan and raw food, um, my cycle, the length of cycle reduced drastically, the cramps, the bloating, the pain, mm -hmm. you know, they reduce drastically. Mm -hmm. um, at this age, I'm trying to transition back to raw and vegan, but for women who've never considered that sort of diet mm -hmm. choice or who have been dealing with this consistently, it appears as if this is a great mm -hmm. option, a strategy, a solution for mm -hmm. something that Thousands and thousands of women suffer with on a and daily 100 basis. one hundred percent all natural. One hundred percent. Okay. All natural. All right. So mm -hmm. let me throw out something. I know that bougainvillea tea is used traditionally for menstrual health regulation and cramps. Uh, thyme tea and any leaf that has a heavy thyme oil, essential oil component. Uh, can have some benefit as well. Um, but I'm just trying to guess some of your proprietary blend. <laughs> but we can see on this here ingredients, chamomile, yarrow, and Annika. Mm -hmm. What is Annika? I mean, I know a girl from school named Annika. What's <laughs> Annika? It's a pain reliever. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. Found locally in the Bahamas? No. Which region of the world does it typically come from? I purchase from all over the world. All right. Because... It's like 21 herbs. 21. All right, so here's a question. The text says, have your clients sought medical attention with no results before coming to you? So absolutely, say, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I am the only person that can help them. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Ms. Martin, we are all out of time. Mm -hmm. I want to... Let's go over the names of the products and how people can find you, whether to order the product or to learn more about the products, mm -hmm. to share some of their experiences with you. Uh, of, for, of course, we start with menstrual miracle drops, mm -hmm. menstrual pain relief tea, mm -hmm. and PMS soap, Absolutely. which I love. And your contact information is? 
815-3055. Is correct. Do you have an email address? I do. Okay, let's get that email address. My email address is my first and last name. That's A-N-I-S-H-K-A at live.com. At live.com. Mm-hmm. I'm going to call it live.com because I want to <laughs> live. That's why I'm reaching out to you. Absolutely. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, menstrual miracle drops, menstrual pain relief, tea, and PMS mm-hmm. soap, all being produced by Diamond Holistics and Complete Yoni Care. I also have a TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram page. Okay. And how do we find that? Um, on TikTok, it's Diamond Holistics. Okay. On Facebook, it's Diamond Holistics and Complete Yoni Care. And on Instagram, it's diamond underscore holistics underscore uni underscore care. Okay. And you can go there. You can listen, not only read reviews. People are talking. You can listen to the reviews. Okay. And also there are videos you can watch. All right. So it's full entertainment. Absolutely. And there's music. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you very, very much, Miss Anishka welcome. Martin. It's been a pleasure to learn to meet you, to learn about this product, mm-hmm. and to hear the journeys of other women. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think it's important for women to hear women, mm-hmm. some of the things we, we, we shared. And I'm so appreciative of the men that called in to share Absolutely. their experience Thank and their so perspective much. rooted in their experience as yeah. men who live with and love women. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Clock with Erin Green, we are all out of time. Coming up next is Guardian Radio AM with C.A. Neary. Have a wonderful day. Now, Miss Martin, why are you getting up to take these products back from me? I'm trying to keep these, but here you go. Here you go. I'm, gonna, I'm sure lots of us will be in touch with you to talk about how we can get one of these or all of these products. Thank you so very much, producer. Thank you. As I was walking.